Hey guys, Todd Huey with Lone Star Boars here. I'm going to talk a little bit about baiting, uh, in particular baiting for hogs. What you see here, I have a what we call a pig pipe or a hog pipe. We have a hog roll barrel and then behind me we have a standard 55 gallon drum electronic feeder that dispenses you know with a timer like everybody's used to for deer season. The reason we use these things is one hogs are random they don't stick in a spot very long unless they find you know something there that's going to hold them so the, the point of these is to get the hogs to to come and visit one spot one two to hold them in that spot so that when you come onto a property whether you're sitting in a stand which we have a stand that overlooks this position or if you're just covering a lot of ground that night you know whether you have 10,000 acres or 40 acres you have a spot where you know that when you come onto this property, there's a good chance that these the pigs are going to be there. I guess the, the difference between using a hog pipe and the hog roll barrel is if, if you're hunting the property and it's close and it's pretty regular, hog pipe is, you know, not as a good way to go. You can't get as much uh, feed or corn into it, so it will run out quicker. Whereas a hog roll barrel, this is a 30 gallon barrel, but you can use a 55 gallon drum, they'll still push it around. And if you only put one hole in there, two holes, it will last quite a while if you only you know, check your property once a month or once every couple of months. But this will, will keep them going. And, and, and it's very important to think out where you're gonna put these things. You don't wanna just, you, one, you can set this out in the field and if you don't have hogs, it's not going to bring the hogs in. These, these are not really attractants. These are where you already have hogs in the area. When they find it, they will start coming back and you will have a spot that they will visit nightly or weekly, but you know, it'll greatly improve your odds. But these are not, if you don't have pigs or there's not pigs in the area, these are not going to bring the pigs in. They, you know, it's just not going to happen. These are to hold the pigs that you already have. And um, I think that's a, a common misconception. I've had a few farmers and ranchers when I've asked them, you know, about putting out barrels or, you know, some kind of bait. They're, they think that, you know, I'm just going to attract the hogs and I'm bringing more hogs into their property. And that is not the case. All you're doing is the hogs that are already there and already moving through the property, you're giving them a particular spot that you're going to be able to watch to improve your odds on killing them. So you are not attracting hogs to the area. You're only holding the ones that are already there in an area makes it easier and gives you a much higher success rate on killing them. Also, we have the different types of baits. I, I typically use corn like everybody else. Every once in a while I'll put, when I very first put it out, I'll put a maybe a cheap cat food or something, something that stinks a little bit more than normal because even if the hogs are here, they they have a great sense of smell, but they have to know that this baited area is here. They have to find it. This is something new I'm trying. It's called Hog Trap. It's from Insights, and it is basically a syrup that they've put together that, that has a smell, and you can pour it on something. It's sticky. It will soak in. And You also don't want something where you, you just put a pile of corn here on the ground they're going to come in and that pile of corn, especially if it's a, a large hog or a big group of hogs, that pile of corn is going to be gone really quick. With these barrels or pipes, or if you soak this into an old stump or something, or even put it on your corn in your hog roll barrel, one, it, it increases the scent for them to find it and, and want it more. Two, they have to work for it. You see where they've pushed this around. I mean, you see the edge of the grass here. They literally push this around. They will push this around all night long and then take a nap by it and push it more and then come back the next night. So, you know, it, it holds them in a long time. Another thing you can do, which I haven't, this is the one thing that I really didn't show in this area, is you can dig a hole and put soured corn down in it and then fill it back up. And when you do that, they will, they will come to that area. Now they're gonna root a hole in that area, but again, it's one hole, it's not tearing up the whole field, and it's gonna keep them in an area where, where you can, can see them. So uh, in following videos, I'm going to uh, do a tutorial on how to make the pig pipe, how to make the hog roll barrel, 
you know what tools you need they're really simple it's really cheap and it's it's a uh, it's something that that'll really help you like you like again like you can see this one's only been here for a short time and you can see for the activity more information uh, there are stories on these on the forum www.lonestarboards.com and there's write-ups and pictures with how to make these and again in some following videos here we're gonna do a, a hog roll barrel we'll do the hog roll barrel the hog pipe and we'll show you how to do the the hole another thing that I left out is a rubbing post you can use old telephone poles old um, even even just landscaping posts dig you a hole stick it in the ground soak it with motor oil creosote something like that the hogs will come up and if you put that by your baiting area they will come up and rub themselves one to, to scratch the ticks the bugs off and other to coat themselves with those with those oils and it, it kind of it's like an off for them so that really does work they they like to rub on those rubbing posts it's another thing and that will it seems to attract the larger boars for some reason so hope you enjoyed the video uh, please remember to like the video if you have any questions or comments or any suggestions for any other videos please comment below and please click here to subscribe to our channel thank you